Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. <laughs> I'm going out of key. Brown paper package is tied up in string. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, and I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. I want to welcome you to the Friends Like Us podcast. Yes, we haven't been on YouTube in quite some time. We haven't sent you a video to say thank you to our fans. But I'm doing this because I want to remind all of you that this is the holiday season. And guess who said that our podcast, Friends Like Us, is a podcast that every woman should listen to? Oprah Winfrey! She's listed us, so we're like a favorite thing. Friends like us, friends like us is one of my favorite. I'm trying to get it into the song, and it's it's not working. Um, let's see, raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Friends like us, and more of friends like us. <laughs> <laughs> These are a few of her favorite things. So what you can do for this holiday season is give to a friend. Tell someone else you know to check us out. So this is what Oprah did. She listed us. I know this is a new thing. Look, guys, Keisha is no longer here because I've got reading glasses. <laughs> and these re reading glasses are really fancy because they do this and this. So I want to read to you what Oprah said about friends like us. Well, not Oprah, but one of her publicists, publishers in her magazine rated us. But she speaks close to Oprah, kind of like, like Juliana, Juli, <laughs> Giuliani speaks to Trump. Like you have to get through Giuliani to get to, well, okay, that's a bad analogy that I will never make again. Friends Like Us, created and hosted by Marina Franklin. Friends Like Us is a humorous take on hot topics. It features women of color and differing opinions hashing out the weakest, busiest happenings. For the most part, the hosts and guests invited on are from comedic backgrounds. So laughing, you will do. <laughs> but Franklin uses her platform to promote the occasional artist, poet, Instagram influencer and sh that she deems worthy of the no also. That means that our podcast puts out people that you may not have known, comedians that you may not have heard of, or comedians that you have heard of, but you get to listen to them and hear all of their perspectives on the hot topics and issues of today. And once a month, like a period, Franklin says, we'll have a guy or a white because it is a podcast for women of color yes so we're not excluding them for like 28 days we'll exclude them and then we'll invite them on for the heavy flow so oprah winfrey said that about the friends like us podcast yay so when you are buying gifts this year uh thanksgiving is coming up and you're sitting around the table and you're talking about what gifts to give and what's on your Christmas list. Friends like us. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything. It's just your ears. We appreciate them. And I would like to take this time out to actually thank some of our fans who listen to the podcast on a regular basis. That means weekly because we do it weekly. Like every Wednesday, it goes out 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? That's how dedicated I am. And I have to say, I really, really thank our fans. I have a lot of fans that come up to me after comedy shows and they tell me how much the show means to them that because of the show, they were able to meet comedians that they didn't know before. And that is a necessary thing to have, that sometimes you're sitting in an office and you're surrounded by 
people that don't look like you and you have something to listen to that reminds you that you matter. And that's what is important about friends like us. There's no big paychecks here, okay? It's just all heart. So I want to thank my friend, Eric. Eric writes us all the time at friends like us podcast at Gmail. He said, this helped me so much, this episode. And he was talking about how Keisha, which is my alter ego, the one that can't read, the reason I have these reading glasses, she can't read and she can't say things like Buttigieg, Buttigieg. So he helped me out. He says, this might help Keisha because we probably are going to have to deal with his name for at least the next few months. Boot edge edge. So boot and then edge and then edge. So boot at edge. Mayor Pete, <laughs> who he likes a lot. Oh, okay, Eric, you like boot at edge? Well, let me tell you something. Boot at edge ain't got nothing for these women of color because he doesn't have the black vote yet. Mm, that's what's up. By the way, how many of you are taking a break from the impeachment trial to watch this video? Huh? All right. Let's thank some other people. Brian Cook. I want to thank Brian Cook who wrote us almost two years ago. <laughs> and I never said thank you. Thank you, Brian Cook. And I cannot pronounce her name, but it, I'm going to try. Well, I'm going to blame this on Keisha. Um, Ihioma. Okay, no. I want to thank Vanessa Charles. That's a name I could say. Deidre Smith. But I do want to thank the young lady, um, Ironini. I'm going to say Miss Ironini. Thank you, Miss Ironini. I could say that. Thank you. She wrote a very, very long uh, message to us, to Christina Greer, who is one of her favorite list, uh, panel persons on the Friends Like Us podcast. She goes, hello, my name is Ironini. And I am a Nigerian Trinidadian American. And so am I. I have 23% Nigerian. Hey. And recent subscriber, listener to Friends Like Us. And I want to thank you for the gift that the podcast has been to me. And to commend you for doing an awesome job. It is truly is a breath of fresh air from the perspectives and narratives common to the podcast space. And it has been an informative, entertaining, and delightfully engaging experience. Since I started listening a few weeks ago, I wanted to also comment on a recent episode. Not sure if this is the correct forum. Um, yeah, sure. But her her uh, comment was like long. So I'm just going to say thank you, Miss Eronimi. All right, let's thank some other folks. Who else do we have? Paul Sullivan. Let's thank Paul Sullivan. One of our number one fans always tweets out at us and tells everyone to listen to friends like us. Thank you, Paul Sullivan. Thank you. Also, I have Matthew Flynn. Matthew Flynn, I want to thank you too. He's always retweeting and saying how we are a great episode, great podcast to listen to. I can't get my words together today, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> also, thanks, Jay. <laughs> For another on Instagram, see, we, we're live, just so you know, we're on Instagram as Friends Like Us Podcast. We're on Twitter as Friends Like Us 10, and we are on Facebook as Friends Like Us. And you can email us at Friends Like Us Podcast at Gmail. This is where I am pulling all of this, these wonderful compliments that our fans are giving us today. Shy from the shy another listener she writes you were all great now i gotta go buy a stylish winter coat oh what is she talking about well our most recent episode we had was talking about fashion with the fashion guru carlton spence carlton spence came on and told us what to do with our closet how to dress for the winter what trends are in what trends are not in what trends are not for every body so like you may think you can wear a jumper suit but you can't because your body doesn't 
fit a jumper suit. I don't know why he said that. You know, I like jumper suits and that really bothered me. But he said it was because I was short. And like short people aren't good in jumper suits. I don't know. Anyway, Carlton was great on the podcast. And that's what Shy from Shy is commenting on. She says, now I got to go buy a stylish winter coat. Gracias por el shout out. And yes, Pat, there is a night. Pat, there is a Nigerian nurses conference. Nana puts it on. Oh, this is because this listener discovered Gina Yashere, who is now writer for the CBS show, I Love Abishola. And because of that show and um, Gina being on it, Gina went to Chicago and did a nurse conference with Nigerians. Nigerian nurse conference, yes. And Gina being you know, amazing person she is, went out and met Shy from Shy. And Shy from Shy met her through friends like us. That's the magic. Also, commenting on our, let's see, let's get some negative stuff here. Would you like some negative feedback? Sure. Well, I've been attacked lately for um, not being so kind to millennials, I would say. So one of our fans, and I would say she's a she's nice, you know, she's a nice lady, right? But she had something to say about the fact that Marina Franklin has a problem with millennials. And I don't. I want to clear that up. I love millennials, the ones that love me. Okay, what does she say? Hold on. Of course, um, a millennial could probably figure this out faster than me. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, this, see, millennials, don't be mad at me. Don't even feel feel bad. Look look at this. You've got, you're so much ahead of me. I would have I died, you know, if someone said, get this open. A few moments later. I can't get it open. Oh, well. <laughs> I can't get it open. It's so funny. It says I have no internet connection. Anyway, that person, you know what? It's probably not meant to happen that I put up a negative comment anyway. But she wasn't really negative. She was just saying, like, that she felt in some kind of way that we were... SH, two other words, on the millennial generation and that she felt that she was just more aware and that we need to be more aware. Like older generation people are not aware of anything. Like we don't, like I, and I think she's lumping me in the older generation. Here's a surprise I bet she didn't know. Maybe I've been lying about my age and I'm a millennial. But then that didn't, me not being able to open that didn't prove that well, did it? So maybe not. Okay, back to thanking people. So I want to thank, uh, did I say Deidre Smith, Corley Godwin, Gabby Hool, Gamal Smith. Thank you, Gamal Smith, for always listening to friends like us. Even though you're my brother, it still counts. Thank you. And who did we have on that last podcast? We had Pat Brown. We had Von DiCarlo, Carlton Spence, and moi. And we had new intern, Danny Randall. She was there as well. She's from Generation Z, the better generation. And she was there to talk about, we were all talking about fashion. We were talking about fall fashion. We are talking about how to get rid of things in your closet. Do you clutter? Do you have things on your shelves that don't need to be there? Do you have something that you love that you need to keep? Or do you have things that you're just keeping because you're afraid to throw it away? I definitely encourage you to listen to that episode. And then we also get into the election. We talk about politics. We talk about who do you like? What Democrat candidate out of the 100 that are running for president do you like? Bake the hall in the candle of her brain told us, really? That's your name? 
Bake the Hall in the Candle of Her Brain is a fan of Friends Like Us. And she wrote, this was one of your best episodes. Who knew? Talking about panties and winter coats and clutter and storage would be one of her best episodes. But yeah, Bake the Hall in the Candle of Her Brain liked it. We Live on a Planet thanked us too. And Hugo, Hugo Torres is another one of our listeners. He listens all the time and he always tells everyone to listen to friends like us. He's offering up to people. He's offering us up. And Bake the Hall in the Candle of Her Brain, she's constantly commenting on our Twitter page. That's why I can't get to the other fans. She wrote, Danny, I hope that you are cherishing this experience. Yeah, I hope she is too. That's our Generation Z intern. Bake the Hall also said, do not miss this new episode with Christina Greer. We recently had Christina Greer back after several wrote me and said, you don't know what you're talking about. Can we get the doctor back in? And so the doctor was in. Christina Greer, don't miss that episode. It's with Christina, Christina Greer, Pat Brown, myself, and Danny. Yeah, it was a good episode. And we and Christina Greer gives us a clear breakdown of which candidates we should look at and why they are important. So I would definitely check out that episode with Christina Greer. And it's called Emoji ta Taco Emoji. Taco Emoji. Because we were um, sending sexy emojis back and forth as a joke. We were, Christina Greer and I were doing the eggplant emoji. And Pat, because she's not into eggplant sent in a taco emoji. Oh, Bake the Hall also said that that episode was heaven. So taco emoji episode. It's a listen, folks. Be Glitched wrote, yay, anytime I see Pat Brown, I gotta listen right away. And I agree. That's why she's back. She's been on tour, folks. So everyone should be listening to Friends Like Us Now. It's a podcast really for everybody to listen to. Even though we were listed in Oprah Magazine as the podcast for every woman, we also have a lot of men listeners that we're really happy to have as well. And we have a lot of whites that we're happy that you listen to as well. And, and others that we're happy that the others listen to as well. But it's definitely one of 15 podcasts that Oprah says you should listen to. It's been my dream. And hopefully, maybe one day, with this, we can have Oprah here. Yes! So don't forget to listen to Friends Like Us. We go live every Wednesday. And if you want to reach out to us, if you want to shoot us uh, information or follow us, we are on Google Podcasts now. We're on Stitcher. We're on iHeartRadio. We're on Apple Podcasts. And you can rate us there on Apple Podcasts. That's really important because we like to know what you think about us. And if you rate us, it moves us up. And we become not just Oprah's favorite things, but like everyone's favorite thing. So go to, you can go to Friends Like Us Podcast at Gmail and write us a letter. You can also go on our Instagram, which is Friends Like Us Podcast, and our Twitter, which is Friends Like Us 10. But most important, please, and I cannot ask enough, Make sure you tell someone else to check us out. Is there something under my seat? Like, did Oprah leave like a gift bag or something? 